So Samsung has traditionally made the best smartwatches for Android phones. But with Google coming to take some of that market share with their Pixel Watch, Samsung needs to up their game and come up with even better products. And the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro might just be enough to do that. We've been hearing quite a lot about this smartwatch recently, including a monstrous battery, almost double of that Watch 4. Today we have tons of new information about the Watch 5, so without wasting any time, let's get right into it. First up, the color and launch date of the Watch 5 have been revealed. John Prosser, who has a great track record, mentions on Twitter that Samsung will keep an unpacked event on August 10th where they will unveil the Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro alongside their foldables, the Z Fold 4 and Flip 4. The two watches will go on pre-order on the same date and their general availability will start from August 26 onwards. The same is the case for the two foldables. Now, the Watch 5 will be offered in two sizes, in 40 and 44mm variants, while the Watch 5 Pro will be available in an even bigger 46mm variant. The color options include black and silver for all the watches, except for the Watch 5, it will have two extra color options, pink gold and sapphire. But the Watch 5 Pro will feature a premium build with expensive materials, including a sapphire glass for extra protection against scratches, and a titanium case which is even stronger and premium than stainless steel. Moving on, you see for months, the new Apple Watch and the Watch 5 Pro were rumored to get the body temperature measurement sensor. But Ming-Chi Kuo, an Apple analyst, said due to certain limitations, Apple has decided not to introduce the sensor on their upcoming watch. And he said Samsung might do the same. Turns out that is not the case. We now have evidence that the Watch 5 will indeed have a temperature measurement sensor. See, a beta version of the Samsung Health app is now showing a toggle for skin temperature during sleep. As the name suggests, this feature could be used to track the skin temperature during the sleep cycle, alerting them if they are running a fever. Coupled with a host of other health sensors available in the Galaxy Watch already, a temperature sensor would make the Watch 5 an even more impressive health companion. By the way, this beta version of the Samsung Health app also confirms the branding and removal of a fan favorite feature. Samsung will indeed call new watches the Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro. But there is no mention of Watch 5 Classic here, suggesting the Classic lineup is ending with the Watch 4 Classic. This also means no rotating bezels. It's possible for the Pro to have it though, but Ice Universe has already confirmed that the Watch 5 Pro won't have a rotating bezel, which is a shame because it was the most recognizable feature of the Samsung Watch, the best input method, and it was in many ways Samsung's secret weapon in the smartwatch battle. So it feels kind of weird that they are getting rid of this useful feature. Of course, with that being said, do consider subscribing for all the latest updates on this watch, and as always,